Today, we will be solving problems that deal with measurement of intervals of time using addition or subtraction. What time is it if you add 2 hours and 15 minutes to 1.20 p.m.? On our timeline, we already marked our start time, 1.20 p.m., and then we'll gradually add our elapsed time, our 2 hours and 15 minutes. First, we'll add our hours. 1.20 p.m. plus 1 hour will give us 2.20 p.m. Then plus another hour will get us to 3.20 p.m. So 1.20 p.m. plus 2 hours will get us to 3.20 p.m. Now we'll need to add our minutes. We've broken up our 15 minutes into 10 minutes and 5 minutes. So where we left off at 3.20 p.m., we add 10 minutes, we get us to 3.30 p.m., and then add 5 more minutes to get us to 3.35 p.m., meaning that 2 hours and 15 minutes after 1.20 p.m. will get us to 3.35 p.m. What time is it if you add 1 hour and 25 minutes to 8.05 a.m.? We went ahead and put our start time of 8.05 a.m. on our timeline and we'll gradually add our elapsed time, our 1 hour and 25 minutes. 8.05 a.m. plus 1 hour will get us to 9.05 a.m. Now we will need to add our 25 minutes. We've broken up our minutes into 10, 20, 5 minutes. So 9.05 a.m. plus 10 minutes will get us to 9.15 a.m. 9.15 a.m. plus 10 minutes will get us to 9.25 a.m. And 9.25 a.m. plus 5 minutes will get us to 9.30 a.m. So 1 hour and 25 minutes after 8.05 a.m. is 9.30 a.m. So our end time is 9.30 a.m. What time is it if you subtract 2 hours and 20 minutes from 8.50 p.m.? So we have our end time marked on our timeline, 8.50 p.m., and then we'll subtract our elapsed time, 2 hours and 20 minutes. From 8.50 p.m., taking away 1 hour will get us to 7.50 p.m. From 7.50 p.m., we subtract the other hour, and it will get us to 6.50 p.m. Now we need to subtract our 20 minutes. So where we left off, 6.50 p.m., we subtract 10 minutes to get us to 6.40 p.m., and then subtract the other 10 minutes to get us to 6.30 p.m. So by subtracting 2 hours and 20 minutes from 8.50 p.m., we have a start time of... 6.30 p.m. What time is it if you subtract 1 hour and 35 minutes from 3.45 p.m.? We went ahead and put our end time, 3.45 p.m., on our timeline. And we'll gradually subtract the 1 hour and 35 minutes from the 3.45. First, we'll subtract the hours. So we subtracted 1 hour from 3.45 p.m., giving us to 2.45 p.m. Now we can subtract our minutes. From 2.45, we subtracted 10, 20, 30, 35 minutes in increments of 10 and 5. So from 2.45, we subtract 10 minutes to get us to 2.35, subtract 10 minutes, to get to 2.25 p.m., subtracted 10 minutes to get to 2.15 p.m., and subtracted 5 minutes to leave us at 2.10 p.m., giving us a start time of 2.10 p.m. after subtracting 1 hour and 35 minutes from 3.45 p.m.